Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, hope you are all having an amazing day today. My name is Lex and welcome back to the car with the world's worst visibility. <laughs> this thing is absolutely ridiculous to drive. It is this right here. This is the ZR380 that came out very recently in GTA Online. Now this car is pretty interesting because... This is a tuner car. This is based on the Nissan 350Z and it's a tuner car. It would be the sort of car that you would expect a sort of stock version with a bunch of tuning parts. Whereas our first introduction to this car is in the form of this weird apocalypse racer style thing. There is also two other versions of this. Let me just preview these very quickly. Let's just go to ZR3. I am all doing this in single player just in case you don't know. ZR382 and we get this weird future version. Or we go ZR383 and oh, oh no, it's because I typed it in wrong. We have this nightmarish color version. So we have these three amazing versions of the 350Z, the ZR380 as it's known, but no stock version. Now, this means that either Rockstar are doing this to sort of get some hype so that people will be asking for a stock version and they'll be begging for it and then Rockstar can go, look, We've built you a stock version. Here it is, and they'll bring it out in a future update. Or, here's a, a fun theory. I'm sure it's not true, but maybe they did this to test modders to see if they would, you know, see what they would do with it. How would they make this into a stock car? Because I do know that some modders are currently working on a full stock version of this, a civilian version, if you will, that you would expect to see inside of standard GTA, as if it was a standard car driven by civilians not so much these absolutely weird apocalyptic style racers. So, in this video we're going to be tuning each one, um, and this time I think I'm actually going to start with the colourful one and move our way down. So, let's just drive away, but before we check out everything that is to check out in this, because there's plenty to check out, we're going to check out some comments on the screen right now. These are comments featured from the previous video. If you would like your comments featured, you can leave them in the comment section below. I'll pick some at random and feature them at the start of the next video, although to be honest, not so random. I'll pick good comments, that's basically what I mean, and I'll uh, feature them. And uh, don't forget, I've also got Twitter and Instagram and stuff, pictures of my car and other fun things, and me tweeting memes, which is always fun. Right, that's the end of that. Let's get on, because I want to tune this thing up, so let's find somewhere to park. I think there is a car park round here somewhere. Yep, there's one right here. Perfect. So. As you can tell, I am in single player, which means we are going to be modifying this with menu. So let's go ahead, let's go to repair vehicle, let's go to menus customs, let's go to, first of all, lowrider mods, because there's plenty to see in here. So we have the dashboard stuff and the interior things, I don't think this actually changes anything, uh, but we'll have a quick look. Dashboard colour, classic, ah! It does actually change some little bits, I don't know if you could do this in online mode, but oh, we'll have that in red. Because why not? Interior colour? That is... nothing I can tell. Oh no! Oh, we've actually got some colours on the seats, so we can even add some bright colours to those seats as well, just to get it extra colourful looking. Yeah, that's a winner. I'll go for some of that then. So, moving on to the actual parts for this. We have the ornaments, which is going to be a rust cage, which is... oh, it's on the inside. Okay. So we have a rusty cage, number one. Uh, these colourful ones, by the way, these nightmare style builds, are basically coloured versions of the rust builds that we're going to be checking out in a minute. Um, it, three very weird different styles and sets that we've got from this new update. Then we have the rust cage two, which is just more colours, I guess, and slightly more cage. And then we have mark three. I guess they're just different colour versions. I quite like the look of this colour scheme, so I'm going to go for that. Then on the air filters, this is going to be the boost upgrade, which sadly doesn't work in single player right now. I'm sure there'll be a mod in the future that will add it, but unless I'm not knowing the button, um, as far as I know, it's not really available in single player. Onto the fittings, this is going to be the jump upgrade. This one does work. If we just jump out of here. If I use the horn, as you can see, it's just a horn. If I go over 20%, we now have a little bit of a jump going on, as you can see, oh, that was terrible, as you can see right there. Then we have the 60% jump, which is uh, just a bigger jump, right there. Is that some, is that, that dude in blue? There he is in the background. And then we have 100% percent 
jump upgrade, which is not enough to actually get onto the road above us, <laughs> sadly. I was really hoping I was just going to jump onto the freeway then. Didn't happen. I wonder if I can get it from here. Oof, only just. That's not good. Not as exciting as I was expecting. All right, let's just jump onto here and then jump down a hole. Oh, ooh, almost perfectly calculated. And by almost, I mean not at all. Now I'm currently stuck. Okay, let's just glitch our way out of that. Right, so let's just ignore all that stuff and go to repair vehicle and get back to things. So moving on to the arch covers, we have the light scoop. Oof, light, that's, that's a light scoop. Then we have the reinforced scoop. Then we have the large scoop. Then we have the mega blade. What? Oh my god. <laughs> that is incredible. Right, I want to see how this changes the way that we can pick cars up. So with our light scoop, we get a pretty good scoop thing going on right there. Then the reinforced scoop. Um, I don't know, I think I hit that at a, not a very good angle. Let's see, get the scoop from there. That's kind of, I don't know, not as good. Then we have the large scoop. Let's see how this turns out. Let's hit this guy right here. Oh, perfect. Lucky, that was great. Yeah, I think depending on the angle, because some of these definitely don't scoop. It just ends up crashing. Let's see, can we scoop this up? Sort of. Sort of works. And then we have the Mega Blade. How does this compare? Oh, it just, oh, it's good for flipping cars. Oh, okay. Oof, that's a lot more scoopy than I thought. Wow. Okay, yeah, very, very scoopy. Was not expecting that level of scoop. Hang on, police car. Let's see if we can get him. Ooh. And, oh, no, that was terrible, but I managed to... <laughs> you, you, just, you just have to slightly tap a car and they go flying. Oh, this Mega Blade is amazing. Just slightly tap it and it just spins in the air. That is so cool. <laughs> oh, I could do this all day. This is so good. Okay, we're making a lot of carnage. Let's go on to then the uh, aerials, which is not aerials. It's going to be body spikes. Okay, I've definitely damaged that bit on the front there because that is not spinning right. That is spinning all wonky. Let's go ahead and fix this. So, yes, here we have all of these multicolor spikes, as is pretty much standard with all of these uh, nightmare-style builds. Then we have on the trim, we have spinning blades on the side, which actually adds these blades that come out the side. Okay, well, of course, naturally... Okay, um, there's absolute carnage everywhere. There's just explosions. I'm going to see how this works. Oh, also on the back as well. Okay, right, hang on. This is reverse into someone. See how this works. Here we go. Uh, okay, it's definitely sort of like grinding on a car, but it's not really doing anything that damaging. Do you know what this reminds me of? Robot Wars. <laughs> if anyone has seen Robot Wars, it just reminds me of that. And then we've also got this one on the side. I reckon this would actually work a little bit better if I was racing or like battling against someone in an arena. But in a, a single player sense, I think this bit on the front is uh, definitely the more fun one there. So then we have the options of the weaponry. So we have our mounted weaponry or we have the painted version. And as you can see, it fires this incredibly heavy caliber shooty boy. And then we have the options of some liveries. So let's have a look. We don't have many. We have the Fukaru one, which adds like a, a rusty look to this. It's like a color and rust with the Fukaru logo. Then we got the same sort of look with but with Bill Bill Gecko, Bill Ge whatever that is. Then we have the uh, Sprunk one. I'm gonna have to Im unintentionally mispronounce names now, thanks to YouTube's auto captioning system. And then we've also got the uh, Raga Room. Uh, which is similar colour, but just with that logo. I think I'm going to go for... Well, I kind of like the full colour look. I mean, we're going to go for a rusty build in a minute, so I don't want to go for a rusty colour build, so I'm actually going to keep that stock. Right, onto the main parts now. <laughs> There's so much to look at. So, we have some spoiler... Woof! Okay, big spoiler options. We got these big spoilers right there. I'm gonna go for the uh, the carbon BGW, nice and big, nice and green, that's good. It's actually green carbon, interestingly. Then on the front bumper, we only have the option of a reinforced bumper, which we can't really see because of this big old thing. Oh, it basically just adds that. Okay, fair enough. 
Then on the rear bumper, it's just going to be another case of just adding in a little bit of a, a thing. There we go. A little bar. Simple. Then on the exhaust, we have the... Uh, where is the exhaust, actually? Oh, okay. The exhaust is there at the moment, but we can then move it to there, which does look cool. Or we have the spike exhausts, which are in multiple colours and sort of match with all the spikes. So I'm going to go with that, just to blend it all in. On the chassis, we then have some armour choices. We have light armour, which adds uh, an exoskeleton and a bunch of stuff for the windows. Then we have reinforced armour, some more stuff to the exoskeleton. And then we have the heavy armour, full exoskeleton with all plating and everything. And I think, possibly... I don't think we'll be able to drive this in single in uh, first person mode. We'll try that out in a second. So then onto the hood, we have the options of remove hood, which, oh, oh, okay. So it actually adds in all of like the stands and stuff of the weaponry. So it even includes that. So it lets us have the remove hood option. That's kind of cool. I might leave that for the rusty one if we have that option. Then we have the armor plating in a couple of different looks, or we have the mismatch thing. Ooh, okay. That's kind of mad. I'm going to go for the mismatch one on this one just so I can add even more color. Then on the fenders, we have some more panels and stuff. These are going to be some panels that go on top of these fenders in some different colors. Or we've got the uh, metal panels. I'm going to go for the uh, Mark II, I reckon. A little bit more colorful. Then we also have uh, these weapons that we can't really use in single player. They're only for online mode. And then it's just a case of engine, brakes, transmission, uh, not even suspension. No extras, go for some turbo tuning, and that is that done. Now we could go to paints. As you guys know, uh, well, as well as having this primary color that we can change, I think actually, to be honest, the green did look best. Or maybe I'll go for that hot pink, because it sort of like blends in with everything else and has a really like heavy focus on pink. I don't know. Okay, let's go for the lime green. And yeah, as you guys might know, if we go to secondary color here, this is the amazing thing. Watch this. We can change the color of the tires as well as a bunch of other things as well but the tires are included so that means that we can have full-on hot pink tires and then we can go ahead change the wheel colors uh, which we can't do with this because of the stock thing i don't know if you could do that in online actually but if we go to this option with menus customs i can change the color of the wheels so i can make them something a little bit different or we can make them all pink which is a uh, quite an interesting look <laughs> But I reckon a blue... Ooh, actually, yes, fluorescent blue. There we go, right there. And actually, I've just had an idea. Uh, if we go to the paint options again, there are a couple of very bright paints that you can get inside a menus mod. It's these right here. Ooh. Ooh, actually, yeah. I'm going to go for some trippy green. Definitely not something we can get in, uh, in multiplayer. But check that out. And that is our completed first build. Full color. Full amazingness. I want to see how this saw works with these guys. Uh, it set him on fire. That's pretty basic. <laughs> okay, now let's try and catch up and go front ways. Let's see how this works. Oh, yep, yeah, okay. He went flying. <laughs> oh, that, oh, that is great. Oh, and yeah, okay. On fire. And now exploded. And now we're on our roof. And now we're on fire. Okay, do you know what? I know where this is going to turn out. We're about to explode, aren't we? Yeah, let's go out in style then. Oh, wow, we still didn't explode. What? Oh, no, wait, hang on. Yeah, there we go. And do you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to look on the interior view. Let's just try and fix this. Let's get a repair vehicle and start driving this again. I mean, there's, if we go to the interior view, it's just going to... In fact, it won't even let us. Won't even let us. Okay, well, we can do this the other way. Let's just go inside and see what the view would be like. Um, okay, well, <laughs> but yeah, definitely not much of a view. Right, now, we've spent a lot of time on this, and we've got two more cars to go. So, let's check out the rusty version. I'm going to leave the future one to last, because I'm actually quite excited to see how that's going to look. Okay, so actually, I've been referring to this one as the rusty one, but in stock, it pretty much is just a really nice, clean, battle-style one. But, I believe this is going to have some rusty liveries. Oh, look, there we go. All rust liveries. So we have the wrecked rust. We have the project rust. Oh, that's nice. Then we have roadkill rust. That's, that's pretty nice as well. And then we have the savage rust right there. I think for this one, I want to go for project rust. 
No rust on the bonnet though, I'm sure we'll be changing that later. So the parts on this one I think are going to be very similar to what we got with the colourful version. So let's get an ornament, that's going to be the rust cage. As you can see in here, it's just going to be all nice and rusty in different styles. I'm going to go for that one because that looks nice. Then we have the uh, that boost stuff, which we can't really do. Then we have the jump upgrades. Then we have the scoops. These are going to be exactly the same as the other one. As you can see, I'm actually going to turn those off just for this one. In fact, let's go for oh, the reinforced one because that's kind of low down. It's not too uh, sort of out in the way. Then we have the body spikes, of course. Got to add those. Then we have uh, the spinning blades out the side. I mean, they do look very cumbersome and we've already had them. So I think for this one, we'll try and make it look a little bit more realistic and not go for that. Then we also have the weaponry. Um, I did say I was going to go for realistic. <laughs> uh, so actually, yeah, I'm going to go a little bit more realistic. I'm not going to go for that. So then we have the spoiler. I don't think I will go for some of these. I think they might be a little bit too much. Actually, no, no, no. No, that could be all right. In fact, I might even go for the same spoiler again because I like that whole rusty bit down the bottom. That does look pretty cool. I'm going to go for that then. Then on the front bumper, we have our reinforced bumper, which adds this uh, nice rusty strap. Then we have the reinforced on the rear, which adds this bar. Then we have the exhausts. I, this time, want to go for this nice side exit right there because that looks pretty mean. Then on the chassis, we have our armor plating. So we've got our light armor with the exoskeleton going on. Then we have the reinforced, bit more exoskeleton, bit more on the windows, bit more of just everything, and then of course the heavy armor, the craziness. I actually think, oh look, we've even got all this like corrugated stuff on the roof as well. I'm actually going to go for just the reinforced because I think it looks better and I want to go for looks on this one. So I'm going to go for that. Then on the hood, we have the options of the rusted hood, which does look nice, or we have the remove hood. Oh, that is so raw looking, isn't it? I love that. Okay, we're going to go for that. That looks so good. But we could also have armor plating, armor plating too, or mismatch. In fact, I could even go for armor plating because we still got that open, but it just adds that little bit extra. Yeah, let's go for that. Then on the fenders, we have the options of these plates. They're going to be rusty, patchwork, or secondary. I'm going to go for some patchwork on that because they uh, just look a little bit more interesting then the other fenders this one's actually going to be again all those weapons i can't use in single player and that is that build done as well i'm not gonna be able to camber it with that exoskeleton around the wheels that's for sure uh, but i definitely can't change the width of the wheels right now uh, sadly we can't do that with the latest update oh yeah and paint um to be honest i think this stock paint is is perfect let's go for matte we even get we can get desert tan dark earth actually looks quite nice let's go for that Get some dark earth going. And we we'll go for some wheels. We'll go for some muscle wheels on this one. Because I just think, yeah, we want to go for some sort of like steel wheels on this one. Something a bit more raw. To be honest, I just want to go for these nice simple wheels again. <laughs> I use these quite a lot recently. But yeah, I think it looks great. And then we'll go to V-Stancer. Let's go to suspension. In fact, let's just go to uh, tire menu first of all. I'm going to make these wheels just a little bit bigger. And uh, yeah, I think they fit like that. Then I'm just going to slam this down. Just a little bit like that. In fact, yeah, if I slam this down, I'm going to get rid of that thing on the front and just slam this down for this one. And should we get to about there? We'll see what we can get for rear camber. But I don't think we're going to be able to poke much without hitting that exoskeleton. We get to about there. Uh, which actually, yeah, we could do that. Okay, a little bit of camber. Although, to be honest, with these wheels, they're definitely not really supposed to be cambered. But we get some front camber as well. Slam that down as much as we can. Track width. There we go. And there is our second build. Slammed, rusty, battle car. Right there. Oh my god, that was... Wow, that was completely perfect. He's actually still driving off. <laughs> Wait, did he jump out? No, that's a part for the car. Oh no, I've actually completely blown the wheel off. Or the tyre. Yeah, he ain't going anywhere. <laughs> I did say I was going to take that off, didn't I? It's actually sort of glitched in with the road. But do you know what? It's fun, because I get to flip cars. Oh! Oh! Perfect! I love these things. They're great. Right, we've got one more. We've got the futuristic car. We need to wrap this up. And the futuristic car actually adds whole different parts to these ones, because it doesn't have a rusty element. It's a whole new thing. So this is going to be exciting. Let's check out the futuristic style one. And here it is. I mean, just look at these wheels. These are cool. <laughs> These are really cool. 
I like that. I really like that. And already this thing just has all these tiny little spikes going on. This is so weird. And it's still got this sort of crazy sort of barely can see out of look. Uh, but it does have these very nice textured things on the seats as well. Which on this one, on the interior, eh, pretty basic. So, let's just go ahead. Let's go to menus, customs. And let's run through ornaments. So we have our cages and stuff that's going to be all on the uh, inside again. Let's just go for a nice... Ooh, the uh, glow cage. Is that going to glow in the dark? Ooh, I haven't thought to look at one of these in the dark yet. Do you know what? I'm going to try it now. Let's have a look. Oh... Okay, so actually this looks really good because we've got all the uh, neon lights here, but that is a glowing light up roll cage. That is so cool. And also we've got light up bits on the wheels. And also we've got this like triple cross thing going on with the lights all glowing. That is so cool. Right, let's just set this back to daytime so we can see the rest of the build. But that is amazing. I think if I remember, we'll try and check this out in the dark at the uh, at the end of this build. So then we have the boost upgrade. That doesn't really mean anything for us. And the jump upgrade. Then we have the scoop options. So we have our light scoop, our reinforced scoop. These are actually the same as the other ones. Hmm, interesting. Some of them do actually have some different sort of scoops for the futuristic one. But not so much for these. So I'm kind of not sure what to go for. I'm actually going to get rid of those for now. Then we have the body spikes to add to the other body spikes. Do you know what? I think this might actually not be as different to the rusty one as I first thought. But we'll see. We'll, we'll never know. Then we have, of course, the spinning blades coming out the side. I think that's a bit too primitive for something that's supposed to be futuristic. So I won't bother with that. But we do have the option of this or the phased plasma turrets. Which is amazing. Let's just jump out. Oh, that sound is so cool. Let's just get this guy right here. Hang on. There we go. That's him down. That just adds to the whole futuristic style of this thing. I absolutely love that. There we go. Let's get the car we just built. <laughs> and then for the liveries, we have this huge collection of all of these livery things that we get with this futuristic thing. So we have all of the regular stuff that we had with the other build with the, uh, with the Izzy. As you can see, going through all of these things, I I don't know what to go for if I'm going to go for a livery on this one. I like that it has all like the random references to the livery, like on here and and everywhere. Uh, actually, for this one, I'm going to go interesting and go for this sort of like crosses and the line sort of funky pattern thing. That's kind of cool. We'll go for that. So onto the spoiler. These are going to be slightly different by these names. Uh, we'll have to see. These all seem to be regular so far. That one seems a little bit different. Then we have the extreme downforce. No, that's the same. That's slightly different. Whoa! <laughs> okay, right. Was not expecting that. Okay, yep. Uh, that's that. That's a wing. <laughs> we'll go for that. Then on the front bumper, we have the option of the reinforced bumper, which has this bit here. Or we have the reinforced livery bumper, which has the livery to it, which, of course, we're going to go for. Then on the rear bumper, we just have the options of the reinforced bumper. Yeah, this one definitely has some more similarities to the to all the rest of them compared to the Izzy, which sort of had a few interesting parts on this sort of type of build. Uh, but never mind. Oh, we do have some ray gun exhaust, so we still have a few extras. So we have our side exhaust, we have our spike exhaust, and then we have the ray gun. Yeah, we'll go for that. Then on the chassis, we have the options of our light armor, adding some uh, basic stuff there to the side. And the windows, not much else actually. Quite a simple look, that light armor look. Then we have the reinforced, which adds some plating. Some more references to the livery and everything else. And more stuff on the windows. And then, of course, we have heavy armor. Just more plating everywhere. More liveries. More everything. This thing looks mad. And then we have on the grill, we have some armor plating. Uh, oh, where's this going to be? Oh, this is on the inside? Oh, no, that's on the rear window? Ah, it's the rear window. So we have armor plating one. Then we have number two. Then we have number three. Oh, yes, I want to go for that with the vents. That is kind of cool. Then for the bonnet, we have the option to remove. Oh, that's very cool. Then we have the armor plating one and armor plating two. I'm going to go for that one. Then on the fenders, we have our primary plating right there. Then we have our bordered plating with the gold. We have the livery plating. And then we have... The spiked plating with the liveries. Of course, I'm going to go for that. Then we have these that we can't really use in single player. On the roof, we have the rear phantom covers. Ooh, wait, what? Ooh. 
Okay. That's weird. <laughs> that is very weird and very interesting. And then that is that done. Now, the thing is, this look is great with this color. I don't think it matches well with other colors. Uh, oof. Okay. <laughs> I want to see, though, because I reckon this is going to be um, that, and then the secondary is the gold. Oh. Okay. So, the thing is, when I go to nighttime, the lights are going to be yellow. So, that sort of limits my choice of this highlight color. It's a shame we can't set the highlight, but if we didn't have this yellow stuff, or this was tied to the secondary as well, wow, we could make some cool builds, but that is insane. I'm going to go for the ultra blue and I think I might even keep the primary in black or maybe go for like a primary grey. Oh yeah, because then we can see a bit of the livery pattern through there. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna do that. And so we can then go for some night time. Let's just crank down the light. And as you can see, we've actually got like a, a bit of blue glow at the front. That's kind of weird. We've also got like some uh, light glowing on the uh, on the exhaust as well, and also this bit up here. This thing is mad. Can I go onto the interior view? Let's see. Well, we can. <laughs> Not that we can really see anything. Wow, we really can't see much. Let's go back to this view. This is a little bit better. And there we are. This is our third and final build done. Oh, that looks cool if I do that. Oh, that is nice. That is nice. Let's get back to daytime though because I want to appreciate the color of this car. But that is it. If you have enjoyed this video, please let me know by rating, commenting and subscribing. And also let me know which build you reckon is the best one. I'm actually, I'm completely torn. I think perhaps that the rusty one was the most united in its look. But this one with the black and the blue is the craziest style one. This thing is absolutely mad, especially with this spoiler. Oh my, wow, okay. <laughs> that is so, so destructive. Wow. Okay, and yeah, that's probably our call to finish because we are about to explode. Wow. <laughs> but that is it for this video. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you think that if Rockstar are going to suddenly come out in the next update with a sort of stock version of one of these, a civilian version. When this comes out with a mod, someone, I know that there are mods in process being made to make this a little bit more civilian style. I will be featuring them on the channel, so keep a look out. But that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye! Does he not realize he didn't put the fire out? Oh, no, he's coming back. Job well done.